life. What up, guys? This is Chibo Guides back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Whiskey Mafia Leo's Family. This game is published by Chili Dog Interactive and it was developed by Fast Game. If you're not familiar quite yet, this is actually the second Whiskey Mafia game. The other one, Whiskey Mafia Frank Story, takes about 30 minutes to complete. If you're interested in completing that one as well, I'll have a link down in the description below. But this one is Leo's Story, and this one's actually only going to take about 10 to 12 minutes to get the 4000G or Platinum Trophy. And on top of that, it's only $4.99. So again, quick breakdown. It's only going to take about 10 minutes, and it's only $5. And on top of that, it's super simple to make your way through this game. You're pretty much just skipping through all the dialogue and pressing the red arrow to go to the next location each time. This one's actually way easier than the other Whiskey Mafia game, Frank's Story, as that one takes about three times as long. Now, nearly all of the achievements are unlockable by simply just making your way through the story, which again is only about 10 to 12 minutes long if you're skipping through all the dialogue and not reading it. Just keep in mind there is about one missable achievement. Once you get about six minutes through the game, you're going to have an option to either go to Vito's Garage or the port. This is where you have the missable achievement and you want to make sure to select Vito's Garage. After that, it will automatically go to the port after and you unlock both achievements. So just make sure that when you get this option that you don't go to the port first, otherwise you miss the achievement for going to Vito's Garage. The achievement that I'm referring to is the one that's called Not the Best Choice for deciding to visit the port. That is the only missable achievement in this game. So just go ahead and keep up with the guide and eventually when we have this dialogue choice, I'll make sure to remind you guys to choose the right one. I'll go ahead and chime in if there's anything important to tell you. Other than that, all you're gonna do is simply skip through all the text and dialogue. Make sure that you press the red arrow anytime that it pops up to go to the next location. And aside from that, you're going to make your way through the game super fast and super simple. Just make sure that you keep an eye out for the dialogue choice that I mentioned earlier. And make sure you go to Vito's Garage before you go to the port. Again, I'll tune in via commentary once we get to that part. Aside from that, just follow along, keep pressing the arrows, keep going through the dialogue, and eventually we'll get to that choice. After we get that missable achievement, we'll just continue to basically spam the A button through this game. And about 10 to 12 minutes in, we should have our full 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy. Aside from that, I'm going to go ahead and end the commentary right here as no more commentary is needed. But as always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.
All right, guys, so here's where we have that really important dialogue choice. You want to make sure to choose to go to Vito's Garage. Otherwise, you can miss this achievement right here. It's called Best Choice Worth 100 Gamer Score for Visiting Vito's Garage. After this, it will automatically have you go to the port so that you can get the achievement related to going to the port. That is a very important dialogue choice. If you don't choose Vito's Garage, you will miss that achievement and you will have to start the game over again if you want the full 1000G or Platinum.
right guys and that's about it we should be unlocking our final achievement or trophy right now called first chapter worth 100 gamer score for visiting the port and leaving atlantic city as you can see this gave me the 4000g out of the 4000g other than that as always i'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my patreon subscribers we just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Kana25, Michael Banksa, and Curse Souls. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.